As you've probably heard this year, for the first time ever, the state is requiring high school students to pass what it calls end of course exams or they do not graduate. There could be an alternative to those exams though, and that's exactly what APS's leaders are talking about tonight. News 13 Samantha McDonald is live here with much more. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Matt. Well, if students cannot pass their exams, they will be allowed to show their teachers their competency in other ways. Exactly how should be determined tonight. APS officials say students could be allowed to present a portfolio of their work to their teachers. That work would have to show the student has mastered what they learned in the course. APS leaders tell me this move to provide an alternative to the tests was encouraged by the state public education department. And the reason is to ensure that more students graduate. APS officials say they don't anticipate many students not passing the exams, but it's important to have another option, and they say this could indeed have a positive effect on the graduation rate. Some, some students who have had to face high school exams agree. It's good to give people a second chance. Um, people graduate high school for different reasons, and some people have different strengths and different weaknesses. Currently, district-wide, the graduation rate for APS schools is just over 65%. Back to you. All right, thank you for the update. Samantha, the board media talk about all this is tonight at 5 o'clock. You are welcome to go.